Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Fuzzy Little Bunnies. Uh, today we are going to be starting a let's play of Jedi Fallen Order. Now I thought maybe coming back to this game would be a good idea uh, to, to play through again because at the beginning of 2022 here the announcement of Jedi Fallen Order 2 and the release date got leaked. We don't know if it's true or not but I thought it would be fun to come back and revisit this game. Um, for those of you who do not know, uh, this game is about a Jedi Padawan about five years after Order 66. Uh, his adventure is an absolutely fantastic story, even if the uh, gameplay is a little bit whack sometimes. Uh, it's got a few little issues here and there, but overall this game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're going to be playing on New Journey Plus simply because I want to play as Inquisitor Cal and use a red lightsaber. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to be watching all cutscenes. I'm going to have the subtitles on for you guys. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers in case there's anyone that hasn't seen it before. Um, but let's jump in. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to play on Jedi. We'll play on Jedi Master. Hopefully. This is okay because I'm bad. Such a rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It's gonna be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. All right. So this is our our intro segment. You know, teach us how to play the game and everything. A little tutorial. All right. Jump. Sprint. Climb. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I like it. It's pretty cool to be running around inside of a inside of a venator. I don't know if it's actually canon or not to the layout of a editor. Will you look at that? A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Fun fact, uh, the Luke or Hulk is one of the best designed right. battle stations. Or so I believe so, if I remember correctly. Uh, just the way that it's actually set up makes a lot of sense in real life, especially considering that Star Wars ships, it's it's fantasy. It's not about actually being effective in combat, such as the way like a Star Destroyer is set up. Why would all the turbo lasers be on the top? You would want everything to be set up, able to shoot different directions, right? Yeah. Because space isn't a flat plane. Ladders out, though. No problem. I'll improvise. But Luke or Hulk's OP, essentially. You are not approved trash. I'm trash? It's not approved trash. <laughs> I always love that line. Okay, I can't sprint now. Oh, 
don't know what those are. Little droids. Easy there. Just passing through. I have played before, obviously. Um, there is a little bit of remembering to do. It's been a few years. That's the idea. So I may get lost at some points, but for the most part, I believe I I know my way around. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. Rats are creepy. I need to come out and say hi this time. Rats are adorable. This is teaching us how to Assassin's Creed. Hey, Cal. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Teaching us we can jump across ledges and whatnot. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Could you imagine huh? you're just working, trying to break this thing apart? She's doing whatever she's doing, and all of a sudden, this dude just drops out of nowhere. That would be. It'd give me a heart attack. And of course, gong. understand the layout of these little tugs I guess they would be I don't quite understand that doesn't seem like having the thrusters on that side and the cables on the other it seems like they would just fall right but you know inertial dampening or oh see <laughs> I'm bad <laughs> That stuff like that is going to happen a lot this playthrough. Hurry, we gotta finish before they start cutting this way. Afternoon, afternoon. I'm pretty sure that voice is uh, the same guy that uh, he was Zeb in Star Wars Rebels, and he was in. He did a bunch of voice work for Empire at War. Uh, he was Tank Dempsey in uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, phenomenal voice actor. Dude's great. Very, very iconic voice. Got it. Your turn. Pretty sure he was in like Republic Commando as well. He did a lot, a lot of work on the uh, the early and mid 2000s Star Wars games. Give me a fright there, pal. Done. Hang on. I got this. Okay. All right. Cal is insane. I could... I'm terrified of heights. I just can't do it. I would not be able... Come take a look at this. To hang this on to a slippery fight. metal thing in the rain. It's a real scrap of payday. I mean, this has been here, what, four years? Five. Never flew this, but down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Nah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. We're racking, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. The Actus II interceptors are really interesting. You really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us free like this? It'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal. You're a young guy. 
You don't end up like me. <laughs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What was that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Our first slide, well, first big cinematic sliding segment. We have slid already. I'm gonna just follow Prof around. Bump. That's lucky. Uh oh. Just hang on. And send me! No, don't let go. I, I can't hold on! Uh oh. Bro. Tentacle monster's Bro. coming. Bro. Big. You okay, That's gotta hurt. I'm alright. I think we can crush your pelvis. How did the droid... What? There's a whole series of events going on here. Series of uh, unfortunate events, if you will. Rape up series. You alright? Yeah. Okay, we gotta move. Come on. Yeah. What happened? What was that back there? Was, it, was that you? Well, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen, the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Pro the bounties out on people I like know. You. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Couple ATSTs. This first episode is going to be a lot of cutscenes. Uh, you know, they've got to establish your characters and whatnot, get the game set up. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Everybody needs a friend like Prof. What a homie. Kill. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place, it's not safe. You should, you know, disappear. I'm just gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper owes me a favor. Oh. I heard he was up on, uh, Mount Shadoa. Yeah. He won't be seeing me for a while, Prof. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kel. What a homie. Big guy's a little upset he's gonna lose his friend. Someone's gonna have to keep account oh, of how many gonk droids we've seen versus how many gonk droids there are versus how many times we catch it and get to say gonk. Where are you going? It's locked. 
so that's how it works. It's such a good screen wipe. Very, very good. I love it. Goldie. Goldie wasn't a rat snitch turn code astromech. Interesting dream. I guess it's a premonition, though. Stopped. Yeah, something's going on. Everybody up. Identification ready. I can't remember if stormtroopers are still clone troopers five years after, or if they've already Go been phased out. Just I think another contraband inspection. They started training TKs pretty shortly after Order 66. It, at least that's what they showed in uh, Bad Batch in the first season. I always thought the airborne clone trooper helmets were pretty cool. I like them black as the purge troopers. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We Are you making your voice sound deeper? Fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You are. Ooh. No! Look at this. A lightsaber. I found the Jedi. You're dead. Sorry, Cal. Well, I guess Star Wars physics. You're so dead. Yeah, I bet it does. Hold it. Go, go. Stormtroopers are like, you get here? what was that noise? <laughs> we didn't just watch a guy fall through the ceiling. You got any... No, there's no gonks in here. Over the comms. Jedi? This is a traitor. Blast them. I, I can get through. Oop. Attack the enemy. Contact confirmed. Shoot to kill. I don't need help to kill you. Cool. Oop. 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 Yep. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oof. Slash your throat, boy. Way out. How fast do you guys think that's going? Gotta be 
well over a hundred miles an hour, right? You're not. <laughs> it's cinematic, but there's no way you're climbing on the outside of this train. The wind would blow you off. I deflected the bolt straight into the guy. <laughs> Two birds, one stone, right? With our bird killing stone. Wow. I got <laughs> on my first playthrough. I didn't realize you could climb on these silver horizontal bike bars, and I spent so long <laughs> stuck there <laughs> before I realized that I could jump onto it. Alright, okay. here we go. Make sure we hit both of those buttons so we can move on. Oh yeah. I always forget. Get to squeeze the through these Stop the little areas. Cal, to be honest, bro, you need to just run. Oh, no. What are you doing? Uh oh, gunship. Who else thinks the, the uh, Lardy is way cooler? LA is the coolest ship in Star Wars, hands down. Arc 170 is pretty fire, too. Arc 170 is basically an A 10, have, like a heavy strike fighter. And then the, uh, the LAT just, oh, it looks so good. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Here we go. All right, we made it. I'm ready for your trick. Oop. <laughs> Friendly fire. Uh oh. He shot the coupling out. Uh oh, you better hurry. Gotta get down! Ah! Ah! Uh oh. No, no, no! Oh, that's intense. Ah! Uh... Oh, oh, okay. Alright. This is bad! Yes, this is bad. This is really bad. Only way is up. Video game logic. Uh-oh. each other. <laughs> Again, video game logic. I love it. Alright.
it's so oh oh no oh, we gotta start whittling them down okay okay let's get you all right let's get you two oh, all right all right we don't even have to actually get them here I am almost out of health now I got hit like three times right there Train stopped? This is a very uh, conveniently laid out cargo vessel. Hey, there's a uh, MC... MC-80s, I think? I didn't... No, I've never noticed this be before. And think could you imagine just black screen? <laughs> it is said that Jedi can use their powers to like take a lot more damage. Like their their bodies can withstand a lot more because the force assists them. It's how like Anakin and Obi Wan can like jump around and you know Going somewhere. survive incredible drops. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who is your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. What Jedi gave their life? so that you might live. I will destroy you. This fight doesn't really matter, you're supposed to just lose it. Uh... There's a setting to disable quick time events. Uh, I might try that, just to see if it gets rid of some of the button spamming stuff, uh, but it's not a big deal, just something I feel like testing out. She goes. <laughs> and then this is a they just jumped to hyperspace well in atmosphere. I wonder if there's something okay, special about the mantis. I wonder. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the Manus is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway. That's gratitude for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. 
But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. Move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. The weirdo. <laughs> He's the weirdo? He just woke up and you're standing over him. Weirdo? <laughs> So we're in hyperspace. Let's see, little guitar thing. Looks like six strings, yeah. Very interesting neck piece. I wonder if that's actually a... If they make guitars like that. I don't know if it's, a... I'm not a musician. I have no idea. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Definitely intricate and interesting looking. That song. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's, it's an echo in the force from the object. Uh, Any Jedi have that skill? I forget what it's called. Uh, Quinlan Vos has that. the same thing. I was once a Jedi. But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. It's called PTSD. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. So I'm not crazy. I remember that guitar popping in. It's like the asset isn't there when the camera changes and it takes one frame to update. I wasn't crazy. I remember that from the first time that I played through this. Thinking that I was seeing things. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So? What's the plan? Is that because the archives are incomplete? Here? Maybe? We're Something done like that. hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Hmm.
All right, that is going to wrap it, it up for the first here, episode of this anything. Let's Play for Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Hold that thought.